We maken een reis door het zuiden van een continent in op Mars. Afrika verreist, zeggen ze. Maar hoe dan? En welke verhalen gaan daar achter schuil? Vier landen, acht verhalen, dwars door Afrika. ontsteekt het stadion in woede. Terwijl vijf jaar geleden, toen ik hier nog woonde, het ANC twee derde meerderheid in het parlement had eigenlijk een, een eenpartijstaat was bijna, met Zuma als boefbeeld daarvan. Ook een onaantastbare leider leek het toen, maar nu, ze moeten hem gewoon niet meer. Hoe beschamend kan het zijn op de herdenkingsdag van Mandela, dat je dan zo te kijken wordt gezet? Wat is aan de hand met dit land? Nelson Mandela sterft in de week waarin ik na vijf jaar terugkeer naar Zuid-Afrika. Alsof hij op me heeft gewacht. Zo voelt het. Dit is nu mijn tweede thuisland. De plek die zo onder mijn huid is gekropen dat ik de roep om terug te komen niet kon weerstaan. Het licht hier, de lucht, de verhalen. Aan deze straat alleen al heb ik zoveel herinneringen. Niet allemaal even mooi trouwens. Ja, dit is hem. Nummer 74, 50 hebben we nu. Dit is het huis waar ik uh, zeven jaar lang gewoond heb, voordat ik naar Turkije ging. Hier zaten ooit houten deuren in, totdat uh, op een nacht de overvallers hier bij de deur kwamen en met uh, een hakbijl probeerden binnen te komen. Toen hebben ze gelukkig nog uh, weg weten te jagen, maar voor de zekerheid heb ik er toen maar een stalen deur in gezet. En die, uh, die houdt het nog wel even. Ik heb nog steeds sleutels. Kijk of die doet. Ja, dit is echt uh, Johannesburg Living, hè? Hoge muren, prikkeldraad en heel veel sleutels. Hij doet het. Kijk. Vermeulen. B. 74, Melville. Nog steeds van mij. En mijn hondje. 
Blanca. Ja. Ja, ja ik heb hem nog. Dit is Blanca. Alleen, uh, ik heb er nu huurders in zitten. En die vonden de naam Blanca te racistisch voor Zuid-Afrika. Dus die hebben hem Jasja genoemd. Dus ik heb nog wel een hond. Alleen zijn naam kent hij niet meer. Kom maar. Niets in dit land is onaangetast door de verhoudingen tussen de rassen. De last van 40 jaar apartheid hangt hier nog altijd boven ieder gesprek. Als een zwaard van Damocles. Mandela sleept wel de scherpe kantjes ervan af met zijn taal van verzoening. Maar je hoeft alleen maar rond te kijken in de duurste wijken van de stad en je ziet het blijvende probleem. Twintig jaar later is Zuid-Afrika nog steeds een van de meest ongelijke samenlevingen ter wereld. De zwarte middenklasse groeit en trekt zich terug achter dezelfde hoge muren en dezelfde dromen over hebben dingetjes. Maar aan de randen van de stad groeit de woede op de partij van Mandela en zijn opvolgers. Is is he, is he in already? Yes, yes, yes. 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 Just come, go yes. This is a time for EFF. This is a radical change. Away! Oh, Amanda! Amen, amen. Ole me. 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 20 years into democracy, le sanchi mo mae mung alin ching wona a. Kili nari lua lili naur lichu mo se mun salina. Kauru aparte diu famete, freedom ayo femete. What is there to celebrate? Nelson Mandela, wherever he is, he must be turning in his grave. Urbana ba hai, basa sota kita la. Urbana ba ba na ba hai, baro ba la bas ba ji. Urbana ba ba na ba hai, ba ya di kolom bas ba paridieta. We na mutwadi wa wiles kolom asa parasiet. We must give the ANC a wake up call. Manda, manda. Mr. Malema, how are you? How are you doing? Well, good. Uh, pleased to meet you. Yes. Why does Julius Malema understand the plight of the poor better than the ANC? Because the ANC is compromised, is led by capital which is in bed with the leadership. Yeah. And uh, the leadership wants to impress capital more than the people. They have replaced the weight people with investors. So every time they speak, they say investor this, investor that. But they are referring to themselves and their business partners. Yeah. And who is Julius Malema to say all these things? I mean, what, what's your background? Who's your mother? Who's your father? I come from a, a very poor background. My mother was a domestic worker who was suffering from epilepsy and uh, she stayed in a shack in the back room of her mother's house. We used to go to school without shoes, we went to school without meal, uh, we were a big family staying in a four-roomed house and were not uh, less than a uh, uh, twenty. So, That's where I come from, and that's why I can easily understand the plight of the poor masses of our people. And when you talk poverty, I don't rely on newspapers and statistics. I know it. It's like a dream. Oh, talking more.
Did he tell you? What did you think of Malema's speech? It inspired the people. Did it inspire you? It did. It did. I think he's one of the leaders that South Africa needs right now, at this present moment. He's one of the people who can articulate himself and really speak for the people. Ik zag Malema altijd als een aandachtstrekker die nadat hij uit de regeringspartij werd gezet als een kind met zijn speelgoed begon te gooien, boos op iedereen, verzet als handelsmerk. Maar net als bij mijn jonge chauffeur raakt hij bij veel zwarte Zuid-Afrikanen een gevoelige snaar. Er broeit iets in dit land. Een woede die ik nog niet eerder tegenkwam. We rijden nu naar het noordoosten van Zuid-Afrika. En dat is de plek waar het geld wordt verdiend in dit land. Daar liggen de platinamijnen. En ja, er zijn geen plek in dit land waar je beter kunt voelen wat er hier is veranderd. Als de plek waar we nu naartoe rijden, Marikana. Marikana is nu het symbool voor alles wat mis is gegaan in Zuid-Afrika. Twee jaar geleden legden mijnwerkers hier wekenlang het werk neer omdat ze beter betaald wilden worden. Totdat het geduld van de Britse eigenaar van de platina mijn op was en de politie erbij haalde om een einde te maken aan die staking. Het hadden beelden kunnen zijn uit de apartheidstijd, maar het was de politie van de ANC-regering. De partij van Mandela die het vuur opende op de mijnwerkers. <tie> 34 mijnwerkers dood in een paar minuten tijd. Dit is hem, hè? Een hele beladen plek. Dit is uh, de Wonderkop. De plek waar die mijnwerkers dagenlang achter elkaar hebben gezeten. Uh, in de hoop dat hun staking zou leiden tot een verdrievoudiging van hun salaris. En hier zie je hoe dicht het allemaal op elkaar ligt. Hè? Nog steeds diezelfde huisjes gemaakt van uh, wrakhout, van golfplaten. En dan hier aan de overkant van de weg de mijn van Lommin. De plek waar de platina uit de grond wordt gehaald. Ik weet niet hoe het is in want ik ben een corner, papa. Ik ben een klein. Ik ben lost. Ik ben scared to see her. If you get scared to see her, you play. Both the fans are good. I don't see one. Get scared, I can't just do, 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 do from my head, but just you can't. So I don't think we think that this thing happened this to play play because get scared because I'm saying when when I lost things, you born and you go to see that because uh, facing your arms and again, when niggas like a band to be be to kill a one from Guam, you born. When they are young, even now, when niggas show up, I now my bang get scared. Best go now, go now, man, be now up, but luck can't go poke. Ben now man, but Ben I believe good. 
Zamba Street, Gentle Bugs, I was bamboo I was Did you have a weapon on you? For Did you have like a knife or a spear uh, or a gun? Yeah, no, not a gun. Just you, what's in? It's cool in the uh -huh. Yes. Uh, it's a weapon, yeah. Like a, like a spear, the Zulu spear? Yes, it's, yeah, Zulu, Zulu spear. Spe Zulu ah. speed, yeah. Like a stick. A stick, ah. yes, like a stick. Then I will come, uh, you weapon, then I will come because you are need, you, you put for you, you have. For Zulu stick yes. on the side for mounting. Then you come for weapon. Yeah. Good use for any cloud. And gun? Pistol? Uh, gun for workers. I know the gun. Every sandboard. No it's guns? Gun. Yes. No gun. Because the, the police the police said the mine workers had guns. I uh, not true. I not true. Are you still working in the Lonman mine? Yeah, me, you working. You're for still going stuff. down every yes, day? Yes, underground, every day, even much. You come for underground, but just you use for 15 minutes and you tell everything, so you say, whatever. But... Why, why, you, why, why don't you leave? You leave what? Why don't you leave? For... Somewhere else? Yeah, because of... Uh, you work, uh, even nobody you live in the side. Like next next mine, no week. Yeah, well, that is why you, you have to stay. You hate it. Yeah, that is. So are you hate it? De mijnindustrie in Zuid-Afrika is een reliquie uit de apartheidstijd. Groot geworden dankzij die massa slecht betaalde mijnwerkers... die werden geronseld in de armste provincies van het land... en maandenlang van huis zijn om geld voor hun familie te verdienen. Tijdens de apartheid protesteerde het ANC tegen die barre werkomstandigheden. Maar ook al is het ANC nu twintig jaar aan de macht... de mijnwerkers voelen dat er nauwelijks iets is veranderd. street <laughs> Food when I shall eat. I want to look shallow out in a shallow lap and a petty and a good food. When I shallow and a good bean, yes, so. So, you know, when I was cutting, when I pillis at the shop, when I fuga in my street, when I call a cob, I told you, and I am by man, and I look you on a pagam. And I'm saying my street. Nampi Logan go get a lap like an eye. Lomoya, 
Tina Tuana Spell, full of Cardinal Connors Pell, when I call the Cardinal Pell twenty one days, Nakuma Loma Sigma to go when, Yena Pelil, when I call the Cardinal Connor Lom Faz Lab, when I saw Gola Gupel, when I eat our number, Tanka Tanka Lapagamunia Mapulu, when I call the Cardinal Pell in twenty one days. Shall I put my shoes off because they're very muddy? Good evening. This is him. Are you still young? Yeah, 1974. 1974, as is, is as old as me. And he had his card for working in London. This is from the mine, huh? Yeah. What's his name? Mpumzeni. Mpumzeni. Eh, te tu kuti apumza bantu i family ya kuma wa ke no ma tata wa ke ba pumle. Tam te lu kuti ugu pina wa ti ba senta ben. Ta tu funa ni apo wa ti ba tu chule so ba ushalente ba ulantu kenta ben. Ta tu kuti maganga him nanti ti ma ti magabu ye. What I got was goody and a boy of cozy, Imadia Funa, and the seven Zanzima. You didn't say don't go, don't go strike. Eh, I'm damn clear with Anga, Maganga, a striking. So what and was good in the art, the old Tingai, a striking, cause mal in the Ifoon, and the Mali lay with Tingai on our way. Damiaka good time. Ben Tanda, Kakul, Nabantuana Baki, Batanda, Bakul, Ebenzela, you won't get into by Funa, you, Abantuana Baki, a small wood bang at Tinkinto. Baba Funi, you won't get Christmas, who tell Abantuana Baki, but as a Christmas, Ufun would abandon about the guest call any. Now make a tan put him so holy, my lady, and you guess a bang of all. Would you blame for all of this? Oh, Kala, the Abantu Abantu NUM. And the loan mean they blame the mine. The mine, I'm a police. And the police. Because mm. in Nam, I was young, but I tell Abantu by a long way. It's to go on Abantu Bula, Abantu by you. The loan mean the Onandi, Prima Ogbiz, I'm a police. Abizele, Abantu Baike, Abakashila, Aka Utate Tenabo, Ababizela, my police, Uti Ababulad. Ulon meaning I didn't in the Amplema Kunoba, Napaku Commission. Is a church as a loan meaning says Bonilepa, the petty meep. Sit to Bulaban to Tabi. Ama police are on and gone by in the Dalban to a premier owner. I am a fallang figure Abulad, the Tungbang Abantu Bokabutal, Babantu Bakusela Bantu. So, when Baba and Azang was all Kusela, Baba is all Babulan. Marikana is een kras in het collectief geheugen van Zuid-Afrika. 
De regering die aan de macht kwam met de strijd voor arme zwarte Zuid-Afrikanen, mijnwerkers als deze, opent het vuur op zijn eigen volk, zijn eigen kiezers. The electronic record will show conclusively that there was no tear gas and we would put also that there were no stun grenades. Uh, but let's see what there was. And that we see in slide 200 of Exhibit L was the gap that hadn't yet been closed by barbed wire from Nyala 4. And I'm going to identify the barbed wire from Nyala 4. It's the dotted yellow line that stretches. Yeah, So you send your son to the mine? Yes, I put it. I told you that I was going to go to the mine. I was going to go to the mine. Remember those people who died in Marikana. Baba Bulaya, Barba Hupela in Krisi, by O Sapota Malapabona, Barba Hupela in Krisi, by O Patel Labanova Nadikolo, Bahupela in Krisi, or Babelo Pelovo Kaune, Baba Tunya, Baba Bulaya, Barba La Fazi, until by Basho Urkam Kabarubit. Lives. Het is heel interessant wat hij doet, want eigenlijk kun je de geschiedenis van Zuid-Afrika, die begint steeds in 1994. En alles daarvoor was slecht en alles daarna was goed. En hij zegt, we zijn nu twintig jaar verder, nu is het genoeg geweest. We hebben dankjewel gezegd voor die geschiedenis, voor de bevrijding van de blanken. Maar nu moeten we het ergens anders over hebben. En dan legt hij eigenlijk een nieuw punt in die geschiedenis. En dat is Marikana. De moord op 34 mijnwerkers in de mijnen. Daar moeten we het nu over hebben, zegt hij. En daarmee legt hij het vinger op de goedige plek. We must give you the mine, the support of Anavalena, the Arele di Colo, the Arele di Clinic. There is too much money in the mines. Marabatia Cheleteu, Baisha London, Baisha America, Basishie Selomo Africa. Renyaka or the mine. De hule banaba Afrika borwa. Refepe banaba rena, refepe se chaba. Rebuild a prosperous South Africa. Your time for economic freedom is now. Political freedom without economic freedom is an incomplete freedom. De protestnatie. Dat is het land dat Mandela achterlaat. Gemiddeld vijf keer per dag wordt er wel ergens in Zuid-Afrika gedemonstreerd tegen de gebroken beloften van zijn ANC. De erfenis van apartheid is niet langer een geldig excuus voor een populist als Malema, die zich laaft aan die teleurstelling en hem verder voedt. Je 
live here. Do you feel that the attitude of the workers has changed recently? That they they don't uh, they don't they don't allow it anymore. Uh, you mean they don't they they have become they, negative too? Yeah, the, really. The truth is that I've said, you know, everyone, workers, and communities alike, uh, really. The, 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 we, we, the attitude has hardened to both towards the authority, towards the corporations, you know. People are living in shacks. When you talk about mining industry, then we are talking about the world of shacks. Yeah. Mining companies have failed uh, to, to house their employees. That is a fact. And it has been going on. And the most painful part of it is that um, most of our leaders are trade unionists. And in the 80s, they used to compare these living, uh, these hostels, uh, mining hostels as the Nazi camp, concentration camps, and all those kind of things. But ever since they took power, nothing has changed. And it has obviously led to the killing of the workers. It has led to instability in the communities. It shows really that, um, you know, those that are in power, they care less about the people. That is why even when they designed the structure of trying to stabilize it, they never ever considered yeah, showing us that we are very useless to them and we only useful when we vote for them. Nooit in de geschiedenis van de Zuid-Afrikaanse mijnindustrie werd er zoveel gestaakt. Maanden achtereen. Alsof ze de oude economie op de knieën willen dwingen. Deze mijnwerkers hebben een nieuw salarisvoorstel gekregen en het is weer niet genoeg. En dan voel je aan alle kanten dat het overal borrelt, dat er overal spanning is. De mijnwerkers voelen zich niet langer vertegenwoordigd door de vakbonden die van oudsher zijn gelieerd aan het ANC. Ze sluiten zich nu massaal aan bij vakbonden zoals de AMCU, die veel militanter zijn en de recente stakingen aansturen. De platina-mijnen hier zijn in Britse handen. 
De miljarden die hier verdiend worden, verdwijnen allemaal naar Londen. Dat was de deal van 1994. Mandela en zijn partij kregen de macht, maar de economie moest gehoorzamen naar de wetten van de markt. Het land werd uitverkocht. Het is vooral die keuze waar de stakers tegen in opstand komen. Voor de mijnwerkers geldt nu eigen volk eerst. Before apartheid ended, I thought ANC actually was also wanted to nationalize. But then when they got the power, they they forgot about that. They didn't forget. You know what happened? Well, they privatized. They, they didn't you nationalize. Know, you know what happened? What is entailed in the mining charter? What is entailed in the freedom charter? They could have implemented it. Then we will have not been in sitting with a problem like this because they forgot the freedom charter. If they could have implemented the freedom charter, we could have been better now as South Africans. So it was their own promises that they didn't keep. They didn't keep the pro- even Mandela himself. He didn't pre- keep the promise because now he's no more with us. He did things on his own. He did things not uh, involving other people. But even today, the very same people, they, they seem to forget that Mandela also, when he was uh, transferred from Robben Island to Polsmo, he was engaging with the government without uh, the understanding and involvement of his other comrades. What was he talking to the government? He could have involved other people so that the truth, uh, today we can be having the truth. There is no truth about Mandel. He's, he's only a, a better a, a comrade. But we know that there are a lot of things that he didn't do it in a proper way. They are the people, they are the residents of Luka. Uh, they are members of TFF. So they are the economic freedom fighters. Yeah. Hi, Bram. Nice to meet you. Hi, yes. good yeah. introduction. Yeah, sure. thank yeah. you very much. I, I, I hear you some, you're singing something about capitalist, but I don't yeah. hear the other word. What is it? Uh, uh, agenda for the capitalist we don't want. Ah, you don't want a capitalist agenda. Yes. And what is a capitalist agenda? Agenda, a capitalist agenda is 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 those people who just want to come and rule, even when they have they've been given land to work, but now they want to control and own the land. That's the problem. And who are those yeah. people? Those people may be, but they can still be black. They can still be white, as long as their intention is not to empower people, but to put po- money only in their pocket. But but yeah. now today I saw I saw a poster. Uh, from EFF that said to the whites, the honeymoon is over. If those things that you are asking for, which is nationalization of the mines, taking back the land that was stolen from black people, if that doesn't happen very, very quickly, then what? When then what are you going to do? It has to happen or we're going to revolt. How? How? Uh, by stopping all the, 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 the strategic sectors, like you saw in, in the past time, like uh, what happened in Marikana. Like a strike. Like, uh, like no, not a strike, like war. It's going to be war at the end of the day. It's going to be what? War. Like war? Like war. If they, they can't uh, resolve this right now, there's going to be war in South Africa. And when you talk about war, you really mean war with guns and killing and blood? The war you know, my friend. Uh, 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 uh. As a member of AMCO, I don't think we as South Africans, we want war or we are prepared. But that's what he's saying. No, he's EFF, saying. EFF and, and, and AMCO is not the same I will thing. want to clarify And then what another what thing, war will like, never see. help well, us. Uh. We can sit around the table and say or discuss issues, as he's saying, uh, this is the situation. How are we going to solve it? Mandela showed us how to do it. Then we will so you do. You don't it. agree with the EFF no, on this? No, we are not. We are not. And I don't is, the, is the EFF sure? Or can I can I clarify this, yes, please? please. Uh, I don't think when he's talking about war, he's talking about blood war. You understand? All I'm, we're talking about is an economic war. Economic war, we simply mean the business war, meaning that we must fight for competition. You understand? No one should be superior than the other in terms of uh, operating business. No, but you, know, or in- you know very well that uh, this is all very, very 
uh, dangerous play. I mean, in Marikana, 44 yes. people were killed. Yes. So, I mean, we know, as you say, what war means. Uh, uh, when we talk of war, we will fight, but not blood fight. Well, how can you fight you without understand? blood? I can fight you business-wise. How? You understand? Whatever, you know, right now, we, we're fighting with the, the monopoly capitalist, if you understand what is a monopoly capitalist. Is that kind of a person who will run the business and want to be the only one running that business for many, many years? You understand? So what we are simply saying, <coughs> let there be fairness in terms of operating business. Let there be competition. Let there be equal empowerment in terms of empowering people who should be, who, who are in that business sector. But it looks like industry. not everybody in the EFF thinks like that, because even your comrades... Uh, they, they, there different. still need to be a lot of political uh, 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 school for many members to understand this war and this fighting. You know, this arrow does not mean I should stab you with it right now, this, this spear. This you understand? Yes. It doesn't mean you should be stabbed and then there should be blood. Er wordt nu zoveel gestaakt in Zuid-Afrika dat de economie dreigt te krimpen en buitenlandse investeerders zich afvragen of ze hier nog wel langer willen blijven. Het oudste mijnbouwbedrijf in het land heeft zijn platina mijnen in de verkoop gezet en wil meer machines gaan gebruiken. Want machines staken nooit. Even in December, I was able to get a little bit of 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 a the power is yours, not, mm. not the boss. Not the boss. Power and get them. So you be you boss, if I'm been thinking you may have one, two, three, um nanga power I am the same seven. If I nick your money, better you he lost. Nelson Mandela schonk Zuid-Afrikanen het recht om te zeggen wat ze vinden. Een generatie later keert die vrijheid zich als een boemerang tegen zijn partij. Je leert een volk pas kennen, niet door te kijken hoe ze met de mensen in hun hoogste klasse omgaan, maar met de laagste. Dat waren de woorden van Nelson Mandela zelf. Thank you for watching. If you like this, please check here for the next episode or for other recommended series. And don't forget to subscribe if you want updates on upcoming new travel series.